Yes, I'm sure that it is. Um, the bus has been, as you know, in service in Manchester around the city centre as a perfectly ordinary part of the uh, Manchester fleet for the last two years. And the, both the operators and the passengers are extremely impressed with its, uh, with its functioning. The operators have had no undue problem in, in those two years. But what advantages does it offer? Well, the prime advantages, are, of course, in city centre traffic is that uh, it is um, noiseless, well, very, very low on noise, pollution-free. It uh, is extremely reliable. Uh, electric vehicles are very reliable. And um, ho in general, th th it's very suitable for city centre bus operation. But its range at the moment on one charge is only 40 miles, which seems quite short. Yes, well, that is true, and that is why we are quite specific in identifying the bus and the operation to cope with just that within that mileage. Um, a large number, like 25% of buses in operation city centres, have mileages less than, than the, the 40 mile limit that, um, that we're talking about for this vehicle. Um, and for that specific use, this bus is suitable. Well, now the question of cost, how does this relate to diesel operation? The, the question of cost is, of course, the, the difficult one, in that the initial cost of the vehicle is, in common with all electric vehicles, is higher than the comparable diesel vehicle, um, to the extent of, of about 50% higher. But over the period of an operation of, of the life of the vehicle, like, say, 10 years or so, if one takes into account the operating costs and the very low maintenance costs that one has with the electric vehicle and the fact that there is very little outage time, that is to say they're so reliable that uh, most of your vehicles are on the road at any given time, then if you balance that out over the 10-year period, the costs are highly comparable.